In order to build prosperity and end poverty, we need growth, jobs, competitiveness and opportunity. But in a world already reeling from climate change, our growth must be low carbon and our societies resilient. Greenhouse gas emissions have been rising, pushing up global temperatures. Countries around the world are feeling the impact, most starkly as a result of extreme weather. The longer we wait to act, so more drastic will be the measures needed to stay in a safe zone and higher the cost. The impact of climate change, even if every country fulfills its commitments on food, on water, on lives and livelihoods, will be like nothing we have ever seen before. This doesn't have to happen. We can act now and bring immediate benefits to people everywhere. We know mass transit helps cities reduce air pollution. What if India, for example, built 1,000 kilometres of new bus rapid transport lanes in 20 large cities? The result over 20 years would be powerful in lives saved, jobs created, crops saved, increased GDP and the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. We know we can turn landfills from a methane problem to an energy solution. Methane, a gas 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide, can be harnessed to produce electricity. If all of Brazil's solid waste went to landfills that captured methane, the impact would be powerful. In jobs created, electricity generated, crops saved, increased GDP, and reduced greenhouse gas emissions. These are but just two examples. Everyone can act now to reduce risks to lives and property. The cost of inaction is greater than the cost of action. There is so much more that we can do.